Hey guys, it's Jules here. Um, my camera died yesterday and I was having like some battery problems so I couldn't do day four of my tongue piercing experience but here's days four and five put together. Um, they're both really similar. Yesterday I woke up, had some blood on my tongue, not nearly as bad as the day before. Um, it was still a little sore to eat but I did eat some more solid foods and so it definitely has been getting better. Um, today I woke up and it was like almost completely fine. I think there was like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of blood, but it wasn't really a problem. It's not really too swollen anymore. I mean, it's not done swelling. Like the swelling hasn't gone down all the way, but it's definitely not nearly as swollen as it was on the first day. And sometimes it still like drags up by speech and makes me have like a little bit of a list, but that's because it's not done healing all the way yet. And it still is sore like right around the center of the piercing, not so much like my whole tongue. Um, the only update I have to tell is kind of a personal experience that I've been having with the tongue piercing. Um, so they say to use the to the mouthwash after every time you um, eat or wake up in the morning or drink anything other than water. And he was like, oh, like you should dilute it because you're going to be using it a lot. And I was like, oh, whatever, like I'll just use it the full strength, like that'll be fine. Because like, I just like liked my piercings to feel clean. But um, after doing that for a couple days, like, my gums are so sore. And I, like, looked up online, like, why that was happening. And it's because um, you're not supposed to use mouthwash more than twice a day or else the acids, like, hurt your gums. So the best way to stop that is to stop using mouthwash so much. So I'm going to be using the mouthwash in the morning and at night before I go to bed. And then throughout the day, they said it's fine, even if you just rinse with, like, clean water, just to make sure that nothing gets, like, settled inside the piercing. But I underestimated that one. I didn't think that it would be that big of a problem, but definitely be careful if you're doing that. That can lead to some gum soreness. It's actually it's actually pretty sore. But other than that, my piercing's tumbling along really nicely. It should be healed, like all the way, not healed, but like free of pain. I'm hoping sometime next week because it actually has gotten like a lot better. And looking back on uh, Monday when I first got it. <laughs> I like can't even believe how much pain I was in because now I can eat like semi-solid food like I had some spicy yuba strips which are like little tofu strips and that didn't really hurt and I've had like lettuce and I had a salad yesterday and I still have to like chew slowly because it's still painful it's not like super super painful but it's still like annoying but everything seems to be getting better and I'm just gonna wait for the swelling to go down Hope you guys are doing well. I will probably make an update tomorrow for day six, and I'll see you guys then. Leave any questions or comments down below because I'll be reading them. If you need help on piercing advice or you have a question, let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.